I see a lot of videos where they lug around this big bucket and then they have this string mop and they're using that same water over and over again. Let me tell you something, that's not clean. You're basically just rubbing all of the dirty water all over your floor. Hi, I'm Tatiana and welcome to 10 Minute Tasks. In today's video, I'm going to show you the cleanest way to mop a floor without a steam cleaner. How about if you don't wanna buy a steam cleaner? It might be too expensive. Or how about if you just don't want to lug around a steam cleaner and have something plugged in? If that's you, I've got you. Today I'm going to show you an old fashioned way to clean. Anytime you mop, it is extremely important to always vacuum first. So we're gonna grab the vacuum. So when you're vacuuming, you always wanna start with the furthest part in the room. Another thing you can do before you start vacuuming is dusting everything in the room from top to bottom, left to right, even the baseboards here so that everything goes to the floor. When you do a great job with vacuuming, it's much easier to mop. The setting we need on this vacuum is low because this is a low pile floor. We're gonna clean from the back of the room and try and get as much as possible and you can also move things. And you're gonna go from left to right and right to left. And vacuum all the way out. Now steam mops are pretty clean. You have to use the cloth for one area and then change it out for another cloth. So I would say that's pretty clean. And with the hot steam going on the floor, that's pretty clean as well. So if you're using a steam mop, that's awesome. But if you wanna try another method, keep watching. And this is my mop. It is rubber on the end here. There is another one that my mom uses that has bristles. Just make sure that it is completely rubber because it won't scratch the floor. And make sure it has a sturdy handle. Okay, another thing you'll need is a bucket. All right, now here's my bucket of water and I have my hydrogen peroxide 3%. So I'm going to add just about a quarter of a cup I just eyeball it. A little bit of dish soap. You can use any dish soap that you have. And I'm just gonna put a couple of drops. You don't need that much because it's very concentrated and it's going to make enough bubbles for the entire bucket. All right, so that's about halfway filled with water. And then I'm going to mix it really well to get all of that hydrogen peroxide and dish soap mixed in there. One thing I didn't add was essential oils. Essential oils is really just for you if you want some lavender in there, some peppermint, whatever might make you happy, you can put it into this solution, but I'm okay with just hydrogen peroxide and dish soap. But basically you want the rag to go on one end and meet the other. So if it's like this, you're in good shape. And you also want it to flip over because when it's wet, it's gonna hold on really well.
You never want to step over your work. When you're mopping and you step on your mopped floor, it becomes dirty again. You'll start to see some foot marks or shoe marks. So you want it to dry completely after you mop. Lastly, I just keep a bag. I'm reusing these ones from the grocery store that always seem to end up in my house. I am going to put all the dirty rags in here. Now I'm never going to reuse a dirty rag and put it into the bucket of water because I want the bucket of water to stay clean and fresh for the rags that are in there. So I'm putting enough rags in there to clean the entire floor. So I have about maybe six rags in here for a three bedroom house. If you need more, just add more rags. But the cool thing is, is that the solution of cleaner in the bucket will always stay clean. 